Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to use and download the application of Google Chat. So the first step is going to be opening up a browser on your device. Now you can use Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge or Safari or Internet Explorer if you have that. So I'm going to be opening my school profile and you have to open a new tab and then go to google.com. Now from here, you have to click on the nine dots and you have to click on chat. Now you can assess Google chat application via the website or you can download the app. I already have the app downloaded and if you don't have it downloaded, the icon should pop up here. The icon um, may look different depending upon which browser and software you're using. So I'm gonna click on open. You can also assess it um, on a browser if you don't want to download it. Um, now in the Google chat app, we have one to one conversations to people and then we have rooms and then we have bots. Bots are basically online mechanisms that help automate tasks or send timely updates. Rooms are basically effective and professional organizations of ideas and conversations where we can help each other learn new things every day. Now we have an option called thread in each um, room that allows threads. Some rooms may not allow threads, but that's because um, when someone makes a room on Google chat, they might turn off the option to make new threads. And if you want to make new threads, you need to contact the person who has made the room in order to find this option. So when you see this option, new thread in, then the name of your room, you have to click on it. And every time you want to talk about a new topic, you have to write your topic over here. So for example, I want to talk about math term three final assessment. Okay, and I want to attach a file related to it. I could attach an emoji. So what we have a uh, four icons over here and we have the send button over here. Uh, you click on the icon and I can write math. And you know, we have this emoji minus or plus or division. Um, I can also attach a file by clicking on this icon from my desktop. So this will open up the documents, downloads and other features on my device. Or I could click on this uh, triangle icon and I could open up Google Drive where you have um, all the files on your drive. And remember, you need to link your Google Drive account with your Google chat application. Otherwise, it's not going to work and you can select any Google Drive file or folder that you like. So you can select a presentation, a video, a photo, a document, whatever. So if I want to select, for example, this document, I just click on select and then it's going to get attached to my message. I could also add a Google Meets link. Now, this is how you make a new thread. If you want to talk about a topic that there is already a thread made of, for example, I want to talk about the EP Northern Hemisphere Maths Com uh, competitions or championships, I can just click on reply. The reply option shows that you are engaging in the conversation while extending the amount of messages in a certain thread. And if you want to talk about something new, you can click on new thread. If you want to get notifications from a certain room, you can click on notify always or whenever someone mentions you or never. And when you click on this don't notify button, then you will never get a notification from that room or person unless and until you open the app or website and manually check. Um, one to one conversations, um, they are much more simpler. They might not have as much features like rooms, but rooms are specifically meant for collaboration. Um, in a room, you can check the members, the people, you can check the name, you can check the web hooks, and you have a whole lot of other features. Again, th these options may vary depending upon um, the admin who has made your room because um, the admin has the option to disable or able certain features in a Google chat room uh, for participants of that room. So you can also send video links. As you can see, you can react to a certain message or link by clicking on the emoji button and then selecting an emoji. Um, you can also forward it to your inbox via clicking on the mail button over here. 
Now you can also customize the settings of your Google Chat account, but remember that if you're using a school account, the customizability of your account may vary because school and organization accounts are often very restricted, so it really depends. You can click on the nine dots in order to assess other Google applications and softwares. And you can change your status. So maybe you can mute your notifications. You can click on the notification settings to go into further detail. And this is basically how you use the Google Chat app. Remember that whether you use this or whether you use the website, the application mostly remains the same. And there is no difference whether you use the website version or the application version. So um, if you're not being able to download the app of this website or you don't want to simply because you don't have storage or whatever reason, you can use the website and it's going to work the same. Um, now I'm going to teach you how to use this software on your phone. So let me connect my phone's screen to my laptop in order to show you the screen of my phone. So we will go to QuickTime Player and move your recording. And you can see the screen of my phone, right? So now that you can see my phone's screen, I'm just going to maximize this for you. And the first step is going to be opening up your app store so it can vary depending upon what uh, kind of phone you're using so if you're using an android you have to go to the play store and if you're using a samsung i believe it's the galaxy store um if you're using an iphone that is ios it's like in my case i'm using an iphone so you have to go to your app store okay and then you have to write google chat and then you have to click on download or get or the cloud button. For me, it's a cloud button because I already downloaded it once. Now I have to go over here and wait for it to download. Again, you can also access the app on a browser if that's what you want. Remember that these things are very flexible. So you can totally go over here and write, you know, you can write Google chats on a browser. And you can also use this entire thing on a website. You can also access it on different browsers. So once the app has downloaded, we are going to open it up. And you have to click on get started. And I want to use my school account. So done. And notifications allow. Now we have two sections, the chat and the rooms. In the room section, you can make new rooms and you can create rooms, browse rooms, message people or message request people. In the chat, you can also do similar things. Now it's basically the same as the desktop version, except everything is much more compact and mini because of course you're using it on a phone, right? And as you can see in every room that you have, you can check the files and tasks uploaded in that specific room. You can see the messages, you can make a new thread. You can reply to a previous thread. You can go and uh, check another room. Like I have this one over here. You can go to a room where there are no threads, only messages. So there will be rooms without thread options. It will be a plain set of messages. And again, I can do the same thing. So I can attach images. I can take a photo. I can put up Google Drive, um, Google Drive storage functions. So I can put up photos or presentations from my Google Drive and I can insert a video call link from Google Meets. You can click on the three dots to send feedback. You can click on the search icon to find people, images, and certain visual elements in the room or the entire app. You can click on your status and change it. So you can click on do not disturb, set as a way automatic, or you can go into your settings and further customize your settings. 
now um it's basically like the desktop portion but a little bit more compact thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed